managed by Lancashire Youth Challenge, Stanley's Community Centre and Bay Leadership Academy for the Lancaster District Youth Partnership. The Morecambe Bay Youth Triathlon was an exciting project where young people walked, cycled and swam to success. Before the challenges themselves, the young people took part in a rigorous training program delivered by professional fitness instructors from BayFit PT aimed at building core fitness, stamina, strength and resilience. So for the triathlon, I went to a gym every week for, to train for the cycling part of the triathlon and the walking part of the triathlon. Go Velo, a leading cycle training organisation, ran a series of road cycle training sessions to help the young people learn how to cycle effectively and safely within a group on busy main roads. Together, they completed bike ability training, cycle maintenance training and road safety awareness. Working with Ellie from Stanley's Community Centre, the young people perfected their swimming and breathing techniques needed to complete the epic swimming challenge. In one case, one of the young people used this opportunity to learn how to swim. Uh, my great achievement is the swimming part of the triathlon because when I started I couldn't swim at all but I, by the time I went on I started to feel more comfortable underwater and started to like, swim without a float. In preparation for the road cycling challenge, for those young people who were unable to attend the real world cycle, we facilitated a static 100 mile cycle challenge. It's been really fun, but also tiring. But the reason that I kept going was to bring motivation on to other people, to make sure that they would have a go and have some fun. On the 9th and 10th of July, a group of seven young people, along with youth workers and Go Low ride leaders, cycled over 60 miles from Walney Island in Barrow and Furness to Morecambe. My greatest achievement was probably taking part in the biking um, and persevering to get up every single hill <laughs> um, and trying to motivate the group to carry on. Um, trying to keep us together, you know, stop fallouts and help everyone help each other. Persevering through the scorching heat, hills and several other obstacles, the young people were greeted in Morecambe by friends, family and special guest Stuart Robinson, MBE, wheelchair rugby Paralympian and gold medal winner. Diving into the second part of the triathlon, on the 17th of July, the young people successfully completed a virtual swim of Morecambe Bay at Saltair Leisure Centre. Working together as a team, they swam a total of 520 lengths, which is equivalent to the eight miles width of Morecambe Bay. On the 6th of August, the triathlon concluded with a five mile cross bay walk from Flukeborough to Chapel Island and back. The walk also acted as a fundraiser for local charity Cancer Care. I haven't been doing much of the triathlon because sometimes mental health gets in the way, it's rocky, it makes it hard to turn up to these sort of things. Um, but raising money for the cancer awareness, the research, it's it means a lot to me, um, so I've decided that mainly I'm going to be doing the walk with my friends. So we go out, do walks anyway, have a really great time doing that, so it's just nice to get out. Also helps the mental health. Overall, the young people cycled 160 miles, swam 8 miles and walked 5 miles. 
with this being one of a series of programmed activities for the Lancaster District Youth Partnership. It was designed to support young people to overcome personal challenges by developing confidence, self-esteem and building resilience. Oh, it gave me the courage to continue doing what I've just done and making me improve on what I've just done, just like for the swimming. Uh, it, made me, it gave me a passion to actually learn how to swim. So every week I've been going to salt air and learning how to swim. Uh, yes, the triathlon has inspired me to do a lot more road biking. Um, and it's inspired me to get into youth working um, and to maybe get an apprenticeship through LYC. And it's inspired me to get out a lot more and to do something with my day except from nothing, which is what I was doing. Um, yeah, it's really helped me just get, get up and do stuff.